Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Pikachu, more specifically Ash's Pikachu, has been a part of the Pokemon anime since the very first episode, having iconic showdowns between Team Rocket, Galactic, and Plasma, to name a few because there's a lot. But battle experience aside, Pikachu is really the shining example of what a partner Pokemon should be. But all stories must come to an end. And as Ash and Pikachu walk off into the sunset, the new generation brings back a familiar face, but he's nothing like the original in a good way. Captain Pikachu. Now, for those who haven't seen Pokemon Horizons, you may be thinking, who? Cap was first found by Professor Freed in the Paldea region. After learning this Pikachu's morning routine was getting up right before daybreak and taking to the sky to see the sun peek over the horizon. This is a very unconventional use of the move Volt Tackle, but a flying Pikachu I'm all here for. Now, if Cap starts surfing, they might be doing too much. Both looking for adventure, the now duo start the Rising Volt Tacklers, flying through different regions, taking on various missions. As friendly and adorable as Cap is, my first question is how is this Pikachu in battle? The first instance between Cap and Cerulege leaves you with the impression that this Pikachu is crafty, using Double Team as a distraction, then taking advantage of the surrounding thunderstorm to let off a charged up vault tackle. Nearly knocking Cerulege off the airship was a great way to set the stage and we see a lot more of this going forward, especially against Galarian Mul trace in episode 22 and 23. Now there is no reason why a Pikachu can hold its own against a legendary of this caliber, but Cap makes it happen. This is a rare L, but considering Freed is busy with a whole different battle and Liko and Roy are complete non-factors as Sprigatito and Foycoco are severely under leveled, but Cap stalls out just long enough for them to get away. At this point, you have to be questioning, what is this Pikachu's power level? Now I have a theory. If we're comparing the two Pikachu Shoes, you have to consider their trainers. Ash is undoubtedly a champion level battler, but that's really all he is. But Freed is a professor and his ability to unlock Cap's full potential using his years of research, added with Cap's abnormal abilities that Pikachu's just normally don't have. So we could see Cap surpass Pikachu in terms of power, but vault tackles aside, Cap really has the it factor. I've never seen a more likable Pikachu. The slight head nod with the thumbs up while standing on its tail really reassures you as a passenger on this airship and Freed constantly checking for the final approval of major decisions has you wondering who's really in charge. If you ask me as Cap, but Cap being able to play multiple roles, whether it's hero, companion, or even sometimes teacher, training Liko and Roy in between missions. He really does it all. Now, as much as I want this video to be way longer, we just don't have enough episodes to analyze. But if the Pokemon Company's goal was to keep Pikachu in the anime, this is a great transition, a passing of the torch in a way, to pay homage but at the same time leave the door open for new adventures and memories to be made. As far as the series right now, Horizons is fire and I am excited for what's to come. But let me know what you think about Captain Pikachu and Pokemon Horizons in general. So I'm going to end my rant here, but if you made it this far, thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.